brothers and sisters welcome back to my channel I know it has been a while since I posted my last video um, how are you how have you been I pray that you have been well and you have gotten to grow your relationship with God um, I want to come to uh, before you today I wanted to give out the message that I have I've actually been holding on to this message for a while and uh, been kind of disobeying God by not posting it. Um, I had a dream a while back. It was, I would call it the righteous judgment because um, according to me, what I saw was everyone was dressed in white. So that's why I'm calling it the righteous judgment because everyone there was dressed in white. So what happened was we, we, it was me and my family and we walked up the stairs and we got to this beautiful, kind of like a wedding venue. And when we got up there, um, when we reached up there, there was this altar where the bride and the groom usually say their vows and there were kind of balloons scattered everywhere. It was so beautiful. It was not of this world. It was even how green the grass was, was not of this world. And so what happened was my mom was the first one to go on the altar because remember it was my mom, me and my sisters behind me. And she went out to the altar with, her, with a friend of hers, I don't know her, and they were kind of holding hands and kind of smiling at each other at the altar. And uh, my mom started floating up while her friend kind of burned into and became ashes just became ashes so when I saw this I panicked because in my head at that time I thought this is where that we're going to be judged whether we're gonna to go to heaven or hell this is where the judgment was going to come and so I got nervous and I started panicking and I fell to my knees and I started crying and praying just to kind of ask God to give me a sign give me something that's going to make me confident that when I step on that altar I will go, I will float up to heaven like my mom. Um, and then at this point, a lot of people started coming in and I remember um, a lot of people would walk up to that altar very confident, like they knew where they were going, like they knew where they were going. And um, like they would, they, when they would step up on the altar, it would turn and become ash. They would all burn up into ash. A lot of people, I know there's there probably some who floated up into heaven like my mom, but I was so busy crying and worried about myself that, you know, that's when I started like panicking and all that. Uh, I was so worried about myself, so I couldn't, I wasn't really concentrated. But every time I looked up at the altar, people were just burning up and becoming ashes. And so um, what happened was I went ahead um, and I turned to my um, left and I saw this woman, this woman who kind of, she was wearing gray. It was like a very light gray, close to white, but it wasn't like white, white. It was like very light gray because she was different from everyone else. And she was holding up this sign and it, it, had, it had the words written up there. It was a metallic sign written in gold and it was written that God is king. God is king and at the end of that statement there was this lion like the lion of Judah and he was in gold and it was very realistic figure and it really looked like you know God like the lion of Judah it was a very realistic figure and when I saw that I you know I kind of locked eyes with that image of the lion of Judah and that's when I heard the voice of God in my heart speaking and it said that it is too late because people were cry, cry, crying and praying that God would forgive them of their sins and kind of make them worthy and some of them were like you know I now know you like now like and God told me that it is too late that when you stand on that altar um, it's just everything your works on earth is what's going to reflect your outcome is what's going to be reflected of what happens to you on that altar it's everything that you have done on earth so it's kind of too late to change your fate or anything that's kind of what the point was and after I had that moment I knew it was my turn to step on the altar because when I turned and looked back at the altar I could just see it was like my vision was blocked out with just me and the altar so I knew that that it was now my turn to step on the altar and so I went there I went to the altar 
and I sort of just started um, I was panicking the whole the whole trip I remember it wasn't that long of a distance but it felt like a I walked a whole mile just to step on that altar and I blew out I was just crying and praying and my legs were shaking and so when I stood when I stood on the altar um, my body immediately froze like I, I got this huge massive panic attack and I froze I froze so hard that I felt it on my bed that I had I kind of it kind of woke me up from my sleep but not I wasn't fully awake but I was aware of my surroundings in my bed and I was also frozen in my bed it was so strong like I felt like I, I couldn't breathe it just the horrible horrible panic attack and when I get a panic attack, I usually start worshiping, and then it calms me down. And so, yeah, um, I remember when I when I got the panic attack and I froze, my eyes just shut. I shut my eyes, and I said I will not open them, and I will let my body kind of tell me where I am going. My body's done is going to tell me where I am headed, whether I'm going to hell or heaven. I will just close my eyes and I let the body tell me where I'm going. And so, um, when that happened. Um, my body yeah my eyes shut and all of a sudden I kind of fell I didn't fall down like this if you're standing I didn't fall and drop I kind of was lifted up and then I kind of fell like this I didn't and it wasn't like a like a shocking fall It was a very gentle fall and I fell like on my back and then um, so after I fell on my back um, it was like I was being taken through something like like something and if these are my feet the fire started so I started feeling fire from my feet and remember this time all this time I said that I'm not gonna open my eyes I'm gonna let my body tell me where I am so when I started feeling the fire through my going through my feet I got scared and I kind of knew that I'm, I'm dropping to hell in my head it was as if I was dropping to hell and um, I remember I started crying and just panicking even more like you know asking God why what did I do wrong where did I go wrong what is this and as soon as the like the fire got to my stomach that's when I the voice of God told me calm down child do you does this fire hurt you and that's when I started like I know you know focusing and really paying attention to what was going on and that's when I felt that it the the fire was not burning me it was just like if you've ever been if you've ever played laser tag it was just like a like a laser beam just going through my body and then I felt it around my stomach and then um, then then the Lord told me to try to move my feet and see how I feel and so I moved my feet and I felt like I was a kid I felt like I could, I could even run for months like I was so light and energetic I don't even know where the energy had come from and so when that happened I sort of just um, you know I heard the voice of God, God telling me that I'm receiving a new body and then I started like being excited because now I knew that I was getting I was receiving my new body so I, like I was going to heaven and I started being like excited yeah I'm not going to hell and all that and then I started worshiping God and my panic attack just slowly slowly demeared and yeah that's what happened and so I woke up and when I woke up I went to my family and I told them of the dream and now we're trying to kind of find uh, like try to find revelations from it and we got a lot of revelations there's so many things that can be um, revealed from that dream until the Holy Spirit led us to 1st Corinthians chapter 3 verse no 1st Corinthians sorry about that it was 1st Corinthians chapter 3 verse 13 and I will read to you what the Holy Spirit revealed to us so 1st Corinthians chapter 3 um, verse 13 let's start there every man's work shall be made manifest for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, um, by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work for what sort it is. So as you can see, um, you know, we, when you would stand on that altar, the, kind, um, the Lord revealed to me later on that the dress or whatever clothes that you were wearing was like your work on earth. Okay, and so like you would stand there and your work would be tested through fire and some will survive it and some will not. Okay, depending on the work that 
is there, that has been put there, that you have put in, whether you were, your work was founded on the strong, firm foundation of Jesus Christ, or if your work was founded by your on another foundation, or it's about God was just telling us to be faithful to what, whatever we are doing. We should be faithful in in our work for Him, you know, because it's gonna be tested. It's gonna be a day. And as we continue, verse fourteen, if any man's work abide which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a, a reward. Okay, if your work um, abides which he hath built thereupon. You will receive a reward and if any man's work shall be burnt he shall suffer loss but he himself shall be saved yet so as by fire so the fire was not actually destroying the people who were burning up into ashes but it was sort of like they would survive they would be saved by the fire but only as if a man who has um, who has escaped a fire you know they were going to be saved by the fire but they will suffer loss okay you will suffer you it's not, it's not gonna hurt you you know it's so it wasn't about going to heaven or hell it was just about our works being tested and this has been talked about a lot of times in the bible we where we need to be very careful in our work to god and what we are doing you know for him in this time and so yeah basically that 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 was it and like um, that's that's the revelation that we concluded on because we felt that that one's from the spirit You can read other other versions of the Bible and that's how they're gonna kind of explain how it, You're gonna be saved by the fire, but only as if someone who has escaped flames, you know, but you, so you're gonna suffer loss But it's kind of like going to save you and purify you. Okay, so let's ladies and gentlemen Let us pray that our works shall be of God shall be of quality that's that should be of a prayer from today that your work will be made of quality amen so yeah thank you so much for your time if you have god has given you the holy spirit has led you to more revelations feel free to put it down in the comments and share it with me may god bless you thank you so much for tuning in and make sure you hit that subscription bell um, so that you can keep up with more revelations and truths that the Lord is showing me and be blessed God loves you John 3 16 do not be selfish in keeping the word of God to yourself share it with the rest of the people okay so be blessed everyone God bless you be sure to check in the description box below for verses related to this subject. Thank you. God bless.